Welcome back to the show, everybody. Today, we're going to be looking at some aberrant snakes. Some Now, real quick, before we delve into these aberrant forms, as you can see, aberrant, the definition right here, just pretty much when we're dealing with biology, dealing with snakes, it's different from the norm, different from what you would normally expect to see. As you can see, aberrant. So we'll jump right in and we'll be looking at some photos on Facebook mostly where a lot of these aberrants are posted. And this is a copperhead. This is an aberrant copperhead. And instead of the usual markings and bandings that you would expect to see on a copperhead, instead of that, this guy is spotted. And I posted this one earlier in the year. It's an aberrant copperhead from North Carolina. These unusual spotted specimens seem to pop up a few times a year on the various snake groups. Aberrant means different from the norm, but certain characteristics such as general body shape will indicate copperhead to those with experience. Uh, it's just something you learn over time. You learn to recognize a snake by its overall appearance. Um, but when we look at this guy, the head actually resembles a copperhead uh, it's just the the pattern is completely different than what you might expect and if you didn't know the location and you didn't recognize this particular form you might have trouble identifying this snake as a copperhead and some people get very frustrated with that notion and they want to learn overnight and it's just it doesn't happen that way you have to ex have experience you have to keep learning and keep looking at these snakes to really get an understanding of what we're looking at with these aberrant snakes. And sometimes, even for the people with a tons of years of experience, they just don't know what it is because it's an aberrant snake, and especially if location is not known. So again, this is an aberrant spotted copperhead from North Carolina. And some people... And here's another aberrant copperhead from Alabama. And this looks more like a copperhead than the previous specimen. It's just that its bands are reduced to these kind of circular markings uh, in the middle of the snake. It has some regular banding in the front, you know, and then towards the tail and the back end of the snake. It has the kind of normal copperhead markings. And then these in the middle are just reduced. Another interesting looking aberrant copperhead. This is an unusual one. It's a melanistic copperhead. Um, it's pretty much all black. Except for some brownish on the face. And I can't recall what state. It may have been North Carolina. Again, North Carolina seems to... Know, throughout these aberrant copperheads um, but this one was captured in the wild and then it was taken into captivity and I believe it was shown to be a copperhead uh, through genetic testing possibly I believe and it's just a melanistic copperhead um, and I've also read that it did have some some uh, genetic some genetic issues as well and I only think maybe two or three of these have ever been found these melanistic copperheads and here's another aberrant copperhead from Texas and this one has again the pattern has been reduced to the round markings and the long oval markings on the side and the front of the snake so an interesting looking aberrant copperhead from Texas now here's one of my favorites. This is an aberrant copperhead from Louisiana. This is a striped copperhead, as many people call it. Um, it has the typical colors of a copperhead. However, instead of Hershey Kiss markings, bands, this snake has stripes. It has a double striping effect. 
as you can see going down the, the top, the sides of the animal, and then the rest of the animal is that typical copperhead color. It looks like a copperhead just by the head alone. You can see that's copperhead, but it just has these amazing stripes instead of bands. Again, aberrant striped copperhead from Louisiana. Here's a neat one from Pennsylvania, a copperhead again. This one is similar to the striped one. It's just very pale and it has kind of this golden color on the back, contrasting with the darker sides, but not at all the typical pattern of a copperhead. And here's the same specimen. Um, it does appear much darker when it's not in sunlight, but here it is with two normal copperheads. And then you can see the stark difference in this aberrant copperhead from Pennsylvania. And here's a, another copperhead from Virginia. Very unusual with these spots and the dark coloration. Just another interesting aberrant copperhead from Virginia. Another of the spotted forms that do pop up, um, especially in Kentucky and Tennessee, North Carolina. Um, here's just another interesting aberrancy of pattern. And here's another aberrant specimen, an aberrant copperhead from Arkansas. Again, I don't know what you would call this one, but wow. No pattern and just some shades of gray. And yeah, just a very interesting aberrant copperhead from Arkansas. And another striped copperhead from Alabama, I believe this one is. That's a neat looking striped aberrant copperhead. And here's a really weird one from Louisiana. This aberrant copperhead was just blew a lot of us away with the strange pattern and the kind of yellow on copper color scheme with that weird looking yellow stripe. And uh, just wild looking aberrant copperhead. And I'll leave you with another striped form from Mississippi. This one actually has a little bit of pattern starting to appear at the back end of the snake. But the rest of the snake has these dark stripes, the light colored top of the snake, and then the more richer copper colors on the sides of the snake. Um, again, sometimes referred to as the striped copperhead. So hey, thanks for watching. Uh, I thought this was an interesting topic and we will continue the aberrancies. We'll, next time we'll take a look at some aberrant rattlesnakes in the next video. So please subscribe, share the video, and help me spread this kind of information around. Catch you next time when we learn more about the fascinating world of snakes.